uh, you look at what went wrong, you get angry about it, and then be more deliberate at practice. Um, I think, you know, how you practice, how you play. So when you lose um, the following week and the next week, you have to come back angry and take every play, you know, play angrily so you can get more production from all the guys. And then that would translate to the next game and keep that same intensity. You know, those guys know, you know, what they need to do. You know, I do a good job of, uh, you know, talk to him one on one. You know, me and Joe, I talk to him a lot on a lot of plays that he's in. I talk, make sure I talk to him and kind of, you know, tell him, you know, what, what I'm thinking and what he's thinking so we can get on the same page. Because those guys, you get the balls in their hand, you know, they're very reliable. Evan, you know, he's always going to catch it. And Joe is always going to make the first guy uh, miss. So get him, getting the ball in those guys' hands, you know, will take a lot of stress off, uh, you know, O and Haas and kind of. Uh, spread it out more honestly early in the season I felt like we weren't we weren't fully prepared for it uh we gave up some 50 50 balls but we've been working on it and and I feel like we're getting better like for myself I gave up a couple balls and like an Ohio game and I and I saw that those mistakes so I had to fix them and work in practice so I wouldn't wouldn't make the same mistake so uh that's definitely a work in progress we're trying to trying to it, we're not trying to make it a 50 50 ball we're actually trying to make it a, a 80 20 so we so that we mainly win every single rep. I'm gonna talk about my, my perspective on it and how I can make an impact on this game. But uh, last season, I feel like I didn't play as well. Like they threw the 50-50 balls, and I really didn't. I didn't make the play on the ball. I was I was hurt at the time, and I I really wish I could get that game back. So I feel like I'm gonna have to make a statement this game and just come out ready to play this game. Uh, yeah, just to get to know their tendencies, what uh, the D line likes to do, what the O line likes to do, basically. I think it was just good for our team to be able to see that game against a good opponent in Florida State. And uh, also, um, one of the first starts for the quarterback that they're bringing in, so being able to see what he's doing, how the running backs are running the ball, how their uh, receivers are playing pretty well. So it was a good game for us to be able to watch. We have, so it's me and Rob, and then Jordan is out for a while. And I know Malcolm's working hard to get back, so we can't wait to have him back. And uh, CJ is also in, there, in the mix there. So. Uh, being able to, you know, work hard in practice, but also preserve ourselves a little bit where we're not having silly injuries, just play smart and know what we're doing. And, um, yeah, we have to stay healthier because it's not really much depth with us. Uh, like you said, he's a great quarterback. He can run. He can throw. Uh, he, has, he has upwards of double-digit touchdowns already so far this season. And so uh, he's a great quarterback. And so, I mean, we're going to game, game plan for him and uh, c try to contain him as much as we can. Uh, yeah, I think it's a huge opportunity. I mean, you don't get to play ranked teams on primetime TV every weekend. So uh, I think our team is uh, ready to get up for the challenge. And I mean, we're really excited. So it's kind of like a do-over from last year where we played them on ABC. And so that was, another, again, we had them on the ropes and then let it get away. So it's not very often in football you get do-overs, but we get one this year.